This video will cover making an authorization request using the ZenKey iOS SDK, but the topics covered here will help you understand the whole authorization flow regardless of platform. We'll be covering how the ZenKey iOS SDK issues an authorization request to the authorization endpoint we found during the discovery process, and how it receives a redirect with the requested auth code. Here you can see I've added the ZenKey iOS SDK to my project, following the instructions in the iOS SDK README. Once I've added that, I'll create a new property on my view controller for a ZenKey authorize button. With that in place, I'm going to configure some scopes. These are the scopes we're going to request access to from our user that will be furnished by the carrier. I'm going to set the OpenID scope. This will return the ID token when we finally complete the token request later in our flow. Additionally, I'll request some scopes suitable for login, name, email, postal code, and phone number. I'll set these scopes on my button. And then lastly, I'll also set a nonce. This will be passed through the entire flow and returned in the ID token later to guarantee integrity. With my button all configured, let's issue our first request. I actually am running this app in the background. So I'm going to pull that up. And here you can see my login view controller, along with that authorize button that I've configured. So the SDK has used the discovery process to retrieve an authorization URL based on my cell phone provider. In this case, that's Verizon. When I push this button, I'm going to issue an authorization request to that discovered URL. You can see the full request printed out down here. And because I'm running this app on my primary device, you can see that I've been universally linked directly into the ZenKey app. We'll cover requests made from a device without the ZenKey app installed in a different video. You can read all about the different parameters that the authorization URL takes, but I want to highlight just a couple. Here's the client ID, which I retrieved from the service provider portal. Here are the scopes and I configured these on my button earlier. And lastly, the redirect URI, which also was configured in the service provider portal. So let's look at the actual ZenKey app. In the ZenKey app, your users are able to review the scopes you've requested access to. And you can see that here. ZenKey gives your users the ability to choose which data they wish to allow their mobile network to share with you, helping them build trust and comfort with your brand. In this case, I trust my bank a lot, so I'll agree to allow Verizon to share this information with them. So I'll press Enable and Share. And just like that, it's taken me back to my app. I've caught the URL in the app delegate, and I'm going to pass that right into the ZenKey SDK to parse it out for me neatly. If you're implementing this on your own, you'll actually have to introspect this URL and look at some of the parameters. So I'll print that out for you. You can, you can see here I've received an auth code. If I'd encountered an error, or if I denied access, I would have received an error value here instead. Remember, it's important to configure your redirect URI in the service provider portal. The ZenKey app will only redirect to whitelisted URIs to ensure maximum security for your users. With this code, now I can make a token request. We'll cover that in just a moment.